What's going on guys and welcome back to part two of the Watch Me Build a Facebook campaign for Ecom clients. For those of you that are just tuning in now or for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer and online coach. And in the previous video, I basically gave a brief introduction as to what we're going to do. And in today's lesson, we're actually going to be discussing the funnel and how to set up the events and so on and so forth. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to part two of the Watch Me Build a Top of Funnel campaign for Ecom clients. In the previous video, uh, obviously, you know, we discussed, you know, basically gave you guys an introduction, I showed you guys the program, etc. And then in today's video, I basically want to discuss the funnel. So the funnel in terms of the campaigns, you know, obviously we've uh, briefly touched over the actual funnel here. Um, and then I basically want to go through the events, okay? So what we're going to do now is, uh, let me see, click on pan, move over here zoom in a bit um, and then actually you know what we'll do rather than setting up the funnel in terms of the campaigns why not i just quickly show you guys how i would do that if this actually was my client so quickly create um, and then set up conversions name of the campaign so this would be the top of the funnel this is how i would structure it okay so the first campaign what i do usually if a client has already you know worked with an agency before or you set up as before and i want to distinguish my advertisements from the advertisement from the previous media buyer or whoever, then I'll add the initials of the agency to the campaign. So in this case, Brampaneer BP, top of the funnel, which is basically, you know, TOF, which is like I said, it's driving traffic to the website. And then what I'll do is I will either add um, the location, the audience, or, you know, just some kind of name for the top of the funnel. So for example, if we're testing out images, I'll literally just call it um, US image tester one or image test there december okay and that is literally all i do in terms of the campaign um so for this for now what should we do should we focus on us yeah why not might as well image test of december that's fine and then for the ad sets usually um within an ad set um or within the campaigns for ecom nowadays i'll have two ad sets one broad one specific and then focus most of my time and energy on finding that winning image so what we can do here is just us and then we'll just call this broad so that's the one without the targets and, and then just call this image one okay so that is campaign like the top of the funnel campaign of our funnel then i'll just quickly close this close then i'll set up a second campaign conversions again give these a name so bp middle of funnel um and then just call this retargeting one or something like that right and then with the middle of funnel usually what i'll do is i'll retarget website visitors i'll retarget those that engage on facebook and those that engage on instagram if they've got like an email list etc you can add that as well but usually you know that is how i set things up so um just call this retargeting then bp mof website visitors last 180 days again i'll show you guys as a little bonus how to set that up and then just again image one okay so that is the bare bones of the middle of the funnel and then of course we've got our bottom of funnel which we'll actually need a catalog for this so we can't actually set this up but i'll just show you guys um how we would do that so again bp bof retargeting and then whatever it is that we're offering i'll add that there as well so for example, 10% off, 15% off, free shipping, anything along, along those lines, I'll add that here. And then we just call this BP, BOF, retargeting. And then the advertisements won't actually be set up by us, but it will be um, dynamic. So let's say, for example, uh, where is our fake... How, how funny would it be actually if someone actually... Or that, the person who owns this store actually starts watching my videos and realize that we create an entire series around this website. But um, has this person got other products or is it like a one product store? I think it looks like a one product store. Uh, but let's say hypothetically speaking, this guy or girl has the Galaxy Star projector and he had some kind of, I don't know, lightsaber light thing going on. So he's got two products. And then I look at the lightsaber and not actually at the Galaxy Star projector. I add the lightsaber to the cart and then I abandon the cart. Then 
the advertisements in the dynamic catalog sales will show the lightsaber as the product image and it'll drag that image from the, the catalog and it'll show that image to me on Facebook and Instagram and wherever I want to go. So it's a dynamic catalog ad. It'll show a product, it'll show the image out of the catalog of the store that I have looked at. Okay, so that is basically how we set up that uh, bottom of funnel campaign. So this is literally the structure for a um, econ client. So we got the top of the funnel where we're driving traffic to the store, uh, which is literally the same. Where's the pan button? There we go, moving along. So the top of the funnel where we drive traffic to the store, the middle of the funnel where we retarget website visitors. Like I said, I will show you guys how to do that uh, with the audience, etc., in just a sec. And then we've got our bottom of funnel, here we go, which is basically retargeting people that show interest, okay? So let me just draw that here. So top of the funnel is literally to drive traffic to the store. Uh, middle of the funnel is retarget website visitors, Facebook engages, and Instagram engages. And then the bottom of the funnel is retarget people that add to cart or initiate checkout, but don't pages okay so n pages or no pages i should probably say no pages okay so that is literally how we set up our ecom uh, funnel then in terms of what else are we going to discuss the events so what i'll do is i'll quickly obviously we don't actually have access to the back end of this client but i'll just quickly show you guys um how the events are set up with this client or fictional client let me just switch off our ad blockers again so we'll go to the home page yeah why let me see don't run pages on this site exclude this website from the ad blocker which will make it easier for me to show you guys all the tracking done okay so i am now on the spectre dash light dot storm because that is the home page of the website now as you can see this pixel is tracking page views so if you want to target people that are just on the home page then what you can do is you can track page views then like i said here you know so that is basically page view yeah then let's say i am interested in this product so um awfully laid out website by the way this um, we click on the spectralite button here and then we are now basically on the sales page of the Spectralite product, right? So as you can see here, view content is also firing, which is the second part of the funnel. So for this client, if he wants to um, retarget not only website visitors, but people that were actually interested in his product, then he could also just target people that view content rather than just everyone that is on his website, yeah? Then, if we really like this product and we are convinced that this product is worth 60, despite the fact that we found it for anywhere from six to 15 euros um, on AliExpress, we can add this product to cart. And as you can see, it's tracked the button click. So we've it's tracked the fact that we've added this product to cart. And of course, the add to cart event has fired. Now, if you click on the little drop down menu of the add to cart button here as well, we can see that because this person has you know, um, synchronize the catalog on Shopify with Facebook that it's also now telling Facebook, okay, the product that has been added to cart is, is $59.97. He has added one item to cart. The name of the product is the Galaxy Star Projector. The currency is in Euro, okay? So we've added this cart now. If we click on the checkout button, it should reload. There we go. And then we check our pixel helper again. And as we can see here, the initiate checkout event has fired as well. So we've added to cart, we've initiated checkout. I've, I'm not gonna purchase this product by, by the way, guys, but um, as you can see here, again, 59.97, everything I'm doing is getting tracked. And that is what we need to be doing for our clients as well. If you've got your own e-com store or you've got a client that has an e-com store, just make sure that all of these events are set up correctly. It's extremely easy if it's on Shopify, it's a little bit more difficult if your client is using OpenCart or um, what else is there, WooCommerce, WordPress, you know, whatever. Um, I've seen a few on Wix as well. Just, you know, I highly recommend you just look and focus on Shopify clients because it's very easy to pull all that data through, okay? So what have we discussed in today's video? The funnel, how we set up the campaign, like the campaign shells basically, so top of funnel, middle of funnel, and bottom of funnel, and the events. So what you need to look out for 
for your clients to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So in the next video, we are finally going to stop beating around the bush and we are going to set up the campaign and the ad set as well. And I'll basically give you guys my tips, tricks and strategies for setting up all these campaigns in 2020 slash 2021. Because uh, like I said, there's a lot of outdated content out there with regards to e-com and I'll basically show you guys, you know, um, some of the things that are more up to date. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I'll see you all in the next module. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed part two of the Watch Me Build a Facebook campaign for e-com clients. Now, if you wanna know more about social media marketing, how to get started with social media marketing, or how to get better results for your clients, there are basically two things you can do. You can request access to my free Facebook group that also contains um, a free ebook. It also contains a lot of information, freebies, you know, um, scripts, templates, etc. Everything is in there along with a free social media marketing beginner course. Now, if you want more help from me, more, you know, in-depth guidance, etc., what you can also do is schedule a free call, which will all be linked in the description box down below, where we can basically see, you know, have a little quick chat and see if we're a right fit for each other and if I do think that I can actually help you get to that next level uh, you know break through that nine to five barrier replace your full-time income and start you know building out your social media marketing agency from your laptop then I'll offer you a place in my coaching program but for now I'm going to wrap up this video here hope you enjoyed it hope you got some out of it like share comment subscribe and I'll see you guys all for part three